selectmen's uh, meeting of Tuesday, April 30th, 2019. Would you like to rise and join me and say the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag? I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag, flag of the United States, States of America, America and, and to, to the, the Republic, Republic to which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. okay. We're going to get started. We have a whole hearing this evening. The Brookfield Board of Selectmen will hold a public hearing on the petition of National Grid on Tuesday, April 30th, 2019 at 6.10 p.m. in the Banquet Hall, located in the Town Hall, 6 Central Street, Brookfield. National Grid requests permission to locate poles, wires, and fixtures, including the necessary sustaining and protecting fixtures along and across the public way. And so we have here this evening. Okay. And so now you're going to take over from this? Sure. Okay. So what we need to do uh, is install a new um, 35 plus 2 pole to serve a new house that's being built at 155 Fiskale Road. Um, it's, let's see, beginning at a point uh, 1,800 feet north of the center line uh, of the intersection of Schoolhouse Cross Road and continuing approximately 20 feet in a westerly direction. Okay, that's pretty much it. Right. Motion to approve. Uh, well, no, I want to ask, oh. do we have any abutters here yep. from out there at all? Nobody's here, so I'd like a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And then uh, Thank I have you. A, we need a motion to sign the petitions for the pole and wire locations. Motion to sign. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. Thank Great. Thank you. 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 you as well. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry. This one. <coughs> Maybe you can put the clip on it. I can do that. Back to the beginning now. Okay, I would like a motion to approve an expense warrant for 43019 for $455,942.97. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And another motion to approve selectman's minutes of 41619. Motion to approve. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And then, um, Another announcement here is Senator Gobi's aide will hold office hours at the Brookfield Town Hall from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Wednesday, May 1st. All are welcome. And then I have another announcement. Uh, the Board of Selectmen would like to congratulate Kermit Eaton for recently receiving the Lucy Stone Award from the Quaybog Historical Society. A long time volunteer, Kermit has always taken an active role in supporting civic causes in Brookfield. His good work are much appreciated, and we recommend him for his efforts on behalf of the town. The award is well-deserved, and congratulations again to Kermit. Thanks. 
exactly. I second yeah. that. that was second. Okay. All right. We're gonna. If it's all right, we can take out of. Um, we'll take out of uh, order. Uh, number three with uh, Mr. Taff. It's the QQLA alum treatment discussion. Do you need a motion for that? Or yeah, motion, motion to do that. To, uh, take it out of order. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good evening. So I'm here tonight uh, mm -hmm. representing QQLA. Uh, we have uh, continuing to try to monitor and manage the quality of the water of both the North Point and South Point, mm -hmm. uh, reaching out um, to apply for a 319 grant, Mass DEP uh, 319 grant. Uh, the goal here is to do an alum treatment, and an alum treatment um, is an application of aluminum sulfide that coagulates phosphorus. Uh, we recently had a very, uh, we had a, a, taken two samples, three samples in South Pond of the, both the surface water and the, and the uh, basically the, the, mm -hmm. the sludge at the bottom of the pond. The, uh, the bottom samples came back four times what we thought they were, which was determined by the TMD study <coughs> done by Mass DEP in 2006. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we're doing, we, we're working with ESS, which is an environmental uh, consultant, and uh, they have the suggestion and propose that we do this alum treatment. The alum treatment uh, would be requested for a grant. Uh, we're reaching out, we have reached out to the town of Sturbridge to be the host community. Uh, and uh, we're reaching out to Sturbridge, East Brookfield, and Brookfield mm -hmm. to write a letter uh, supporting the, uh, the request for the gallon treatment. Uh, we have identified that there is definitely a problem and it confirms what was said back in 2006 on the TMTL study. Uh, so, uh, what we'd like to do is ask the town of Brookfield to write a letter um, in support of the Allen treatment. And I have a couple of letters here. Uh, I've got copies that I can give you. There's, there's a copy from the town of Sturbridge and from, I think there's more copies here than you need, but I'll give you, I'll give you four. We've already had uh, a meeting with the Conservation Commission uh, in Sturbridge, and they have endorsed the treatment. Do you have one from East Brookfield, a letter, or just from I Sturbridge? I don't have one from East Brookfield okay. yet. Uh, we went before the East Brookfield Board Selectman last night, mm -hmm. and they have endorsed it, and they will okay. write a letter. This one is from SLAC. SLAC is the Sturbridge uh, Lake Association Committee, uh, and both of those uh, letters support the, uh, the treatment itself. So, the treatment will be done in South Pond. Uh, and the reason we're doing it in South Pond is because the Allen the treatment <laughs> is only effective under certain conditions. And the conditions are that uh, you have to have a certain depth of water, and you have to have a uh, certain depth, a certain density of, of phosphorus. And um, South Pond has both of those conditions. It, it is about 90 feet deep in the deepest spot, and the alum treatment will be only applied in the depths that are more than 55 feet. So what it does is the alum uh, acts as a coagulant uh, or a flocculant, and it will it will take the phosphorus that's in the water column, and it will uh, clump it together. It will fall to the bottom. It will create a mat, um, and that will seal the phosphorus that's in the muck. Um, and so. 
What happens twice a year, spring and fall, is you end up with a, a thermocline where the water temperature takes and turns the lake over. It does it in the spring, does it in the fall. And when it does that, all of that phosphorus gets re-energized into, reintroduced into the water column. Uh, the phosphorus is very, um, uh, supports weed growth. And over the last few years, we have noticed uh, significant uh, discoloration in the water. Uh, the clarity is down. We have a lot of uh, filamentaceous algae which is growing throughout the lake and we're also experienced two algae blue green algae blooms last year this allen treatment would certainly help that um, the expectation is that with this treatment uh, it would um, benefit the lake for up to 25 years so we would see an improvement in the clarity and uh, sealing off the phosphorus. Um, the, do, we, do we know what the phosphorus sources are currently? I'm sorry? Do we know what the phosphorus sources are currently? So besides so, this treatment, what options do we have to like... So back when, when Mass DEP did the uh, TMDL study back in 2006, uh, they would support the phosphorus, the uh, alum treatment to create, to handle the phosphorus uh, if we got the additional 18 inches onto the flow barrier, which is not going to happen. East Brookfield is not willing to go that route. But with, so the, the sources of the phosphorus is years and years of um, elevated uh, amounts of phosphorus, a lot of it coming from the Spencer Wastewater Treatment Plant, uh, but also runoff when you get um, a lot of heavy rain. And you see what we're getting. I mean, we just did this um, uh, municipal vulnerability uh, yeah. program uh, dealing with uh, you know climate change, and that's this is one of the conditions we're getting a, a lot of runoff. So that that introduces a lot of phosphorus into the lake from that as well. So this this is an occurrence that has uh, been going on for years. you know a hundred years. Uh, we should see a pretty significant reduction with the benefits that we, we've made in dealing with the Spencer Wastewater Treatment Plant. The phosphorus coming from the plant should be significantly reduced. Uh, so that's, that's a very positive. Um, but it's, it's the buildup of the phosphorus in the lake Understood. over the, you know, 100 years that's now, will the lake be closed at all while you do nope. this? Nope, there is no reason to close the lake. Um, and it will be done in the, probably in the fall. Um, and uh, so what we're doing is, like I say, we're reaching out to the, the three towns along with QQLA to fund this. So what we are doing here tonight is asking for a support letter or a recognition that there is a problem in the lake and to go forward to support that the town would support the uh, uh, the program uh, now let me just talk a little bit about the cost uh, this is a very expensive program uh, so the uh, the treatment is looks like it will be in the area of about three hundred and forty two thousand dollars uh, with that, uh, we, the Mass uh, DEP grant, the 319 grant, is a 60-40 split. So 60% of the funding is covered by um, uh, the, the state and the 319 grant. Uh, I have a... This is a breakdown of what we are requesting from each town. So as you can see uh, from Brookfield, um, we would be looking for $25,000. From East Brookfield, we'd be looking for $15,000. From Sturbridge, we're looking for $55,000. And QQLA will pony up $20,000, and that leaves us 
about twenty thousand dollars short, which we think that we can we can provide in uh, in kind services. So that would bring us to the total of one hundred and thirty six thousand eight hundred dollars, which is forty percent of the three hundred and forty two thousand dollar estimate. So, and you might ask, why is the breakdown um, uh, that way? Uh, it, it's based on any number of things. Uh, total population, and you can see what the total population is in each community at the very top of the page. Um, so Brookfield's about 22% of the total of the population of the three towns. East Brookfield's about 13%, and Sturbridge is about 64%. So using that along with the um, breakdown of population on the lake and tax revenues as best we can uh, and gather from uh, uh, Sturbridge, uh, that's how we came up with those, uh, the, the estimate breakdown for each town and for QQLA. Uh, I do have some information here on the, uh, the treatment itself. And I only have, this is a PowerPoint presentation that was done by ESS and I only have a couple of copies and I can give you one. What's the timeline? So uh, the timeline is, is that uh, the request for proposals for the 319 grant uh, have to be in by June 4th. And we are working to uh, get that request for proposal into MassDEP for, for that date. Uh, the anticipation is that the award would be made by them or the announcement would be made by them as to who might get the grant uh, would be in September of this year. So in all likelihood, we would not be ready to do this treatment until the fall of next year. 2020 and so we we would anticipate that we would come to the town with a with a article funding article uh, for the $25,000 from Brookfield and that would be in the fall uh, so that part of my question is uh, what is what is this plan on money articles for the annual town we'll meeting probably do them in the fall. okay so that that would probably be the request and if we were, if we asked for the money, it would be contingent upon the being grant. awarded the 319 grant. I mean, obviously we right. uh, wouldn't need it if we don't qualify for the grant. And we would certainly, we should know um, by uh, September of 2019. Uh, so that's, that's kind of a, a quick summary of what we're looking for. Um, I would, when we went to Sturbridge, we had um, Carl Nielsen, who was uh, uh, from, from uh, ESS down in Providence, and he came before the conservation and presented the, the information that you see in the uh, PowerPoint. The PowerPoint uh, breakdown that I handed out is a two-case uh, Study. study. Uh, they are in the process of being pre preparing to do a alum treatment in a reservoir, a drinking water reservoir in Rhode Island. Uh, and so that's one of the studies and then the other part of the study is how it compares to uh, South Pond. So uh, like I mentioned we would be doing about uh, 25% of the, the lake treatment, which will benefit the whole lake, um, and only in the areas that are about 55 feet deep or deeper. Uh, and Carl would be more than glad to come up and explain the whole process if you, if you so desire. Um, so that's, that's what I'm here for, and that's what I would well, thank you for like to see if we can get a letter, uh, if we can get a letter of support. Uh, and the reason for the letter of support is 
uh, Mass DEP doesn't basically, it, it's beneficial for us to show that we get support from, from uh, the communities to contribute to the, uh, to the process. Okay, I'd like to make a motion that we um, support the Allen treatment South Pond, and that we send a letter of support from the town of Brookfield. I like a motion. You have that motion. Second. Any discussion on that? Well, only that um, we're going to have several conversations between now and July with uh, fisheries and wildlife and yes. boat access as a second meeting with boat access to, uh, on the second. So, have you touched base with them yet? We have not. Uh, so, uh, in my conversations with them, I will. If okay, they, if and I'd be glad to provide, you know, similar information to them uh, or attend the meeting uh, so that, uh, you know, if they have any questions, we'll certainly be able to answer them. So, all in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Okay. Yes. Thanks for the work you're doing with this. Well, I'm just, oh, good. Thanks, Beth. I'm not awake. Um, I'm only. Th or do we want to move on to? I'm, I'm thinking we'll just go through those. Oh yeah. Why don't we go well, through them and then we can? Oh no, no, right, no. We, we, have, we, to come back. we have to come back. We have to come back to open it. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. All right. Um, I'd like to make a motion that we go into executive session under number two, um, and that is for to conduct strategy sessions in preparation for negotiations with non-union personnel, or to conduct collective bargaining sessions or contract negotiations with non-union personnel. Uh, Link and I. Snyder. I. Coughlin. And I. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And then we will come back and we will um, reopen the regular meeting because we have more things on our agenda this evening. Good. Okay, we'd like to reopen the meeting at 7 o'clock p.m. Yep. Okay, we'll move on. We did that. Okay, now we're going to do the, um, the beach. The beach committee discussion, and I'll turn that over to Mr. Snyder. Well, there is no beach committee, so just so we're all clear, uh, what we are doing is tomorrow night we're going to have a, a, a preliminary discussion with mm -hmm. three individuals who have expressed interest in helping with the beach and managing the beach. And I, I want to be very clear with them that what we're doing is we're talking with fisheries and wildlife as far as the management and how to go forward mm -hmm. with. Uh, the, the, the beach area and then I will meet on May 2nd with the boat access representative because they have also expressed a, an interest for improved management of that area. Mm -hmm. Both entities in fact are talking about the ability for the town to uh, solicit fees for use. Um, and again just so everybody's clear what that, that means is prob uh, probably in order of $25 for a yearly access, uh, $2 per a, a, a visit per family per unit whatever mm -hmm. uh, for use of the boat ramp and the beach so we need to verify and confirm that we need to verify and understand what the agreements are uh, that they're, they're proposing to make sure that mm -hmm. it's something we can live with uh, so with discussions over the next week or two uh, we'll better understand what it, what it's what it's all about um, I'm very concerned as we move into uh, the timing of the year that we'll have any agreements in place just because of the timing. Mm -hmm. um, so again, we'll work as quickly as we can to understand who from the town might volunteer to support a committee um, and then from and go from there. Uh, okay. I have been very clear to the individuals that I've talked to that it is not my plan to chair that committee or committees. Oh, I know. You've got enough on your plate. So anyway. We all have. So that's where we are. Okay. Any questions from anybody on it? Okay, we'll proceed. All right. The committee will have to make a decision as to how that happens. That's why they need to understand the dynamics right up front as far as who's responsible and the procedures that would have to be put in place for the money to, so that it's understood. So in the case of uh, the yearly fee, I would look to the town clerk to issue uh, those permits. Now, where is that? But that's not agreed to either. 
So but that's where we are. Where does this fit though tonight? For oh, that's in the box. Oh, it is. Okay. All right. I guess we each have a packet here. Karen made us all up a packet because we're going to move on to review the articles. Now, were these all of them, even with the money, too? I have the first one's the petitions. The second one is the, I think, the non-money articles. The non-money. Non and the third one is the funding. And then we've decided what we're going to do. We're going to do um, the regular budget, plus we will do all the non-money articles, and then we'll pick up again in the fall. Okay. Would we want to put this one on right we want a number. I didn't we'll number them. I was going to let you guys number them because I wasn't sure how you wanted to do it. So okay. You, you, you remember them anyway all the time. So. <laughs> well, one is normally, isn't that the opening? And then two is when we start the budget. Is that well, how we so, normally yeah. do well, it? Even if you number them this way, that's fine. Whatever. We're going to do the, the ones that are always in the box anyway, which I think is like one through ten or whatever. Okay. So just one through ten. Just number them from one. Just for the sake of numbering them, and then oh, okay, we'll merge it into the okay. into the boilerplate warrant. Okay. okay, all right. The first one we have, we'll start it off as Article One, is the citizens' petition, and it says, "We, the undersigned, hereby propose that a warrant article be added to the 2019 Brookfield Annual Town Meeting to change the Town of Brookfield bylaws to include a full-time position of town administrator. The town administrator." would work directly under the administrative and policy direction of the Board of Selectmen and will oversee the daily operations of the town government. So we'll vote to put, we don't really don't vote to put this on because it no, goes on automatically. It goes on automatically. Okay. Now we have a, another one, another petition. Uh, with the undersigned request, oh, and this will be number two. With the undersigned request that the following article be placed on the annual town meeting warrant to see whether the town of Brookfield shall raise or appropriate a sum of $2,000 to place additional street lights throughout the town with the location and type of those lights to be determined, be determined by the selectmen. That's another one. That's number two. And then we have another citizen's petition, which we'll call number three, uh, to see if the town will vote to add a new bylaw, which, if adopted, would become Chapter 2, Section 22 of the town bylaw, and read as follows. Prior to setting the tax rate each year, the town of Brookfield must hold a town meeting for the citizens to consider an article on the amount of free cash to be used to reduce the tax rate. That's another one. That was three. Next one, we'll do it up as four. Uh, and this one is to see if the town will vote to transfer a sum of money from the ambulance revenue account to purchase a new ambulance or take any action relative there too. And this is uh, sponsored by uh, Donna LaFleur, who is the emergency, uh, she's the chief of the emergency squad. And uh, she requests uh, she th thinks it's going to cost about two hundred and seventy thousand dollars. And, and yeah, we'll I'll second that. And they're pre they're self pretty much self sustaining, so that would be no money. So all in favor? Aye. 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 Four. Five. Okay, number five. To see if the town will vote to transfer a sum of money from the ambulance revenue account to fund the fiscal year 2020 wage account. And that's also by Donna LaFleur. Motion to post. Motion to post, okay. and and the amount on that would be 189,000. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, the next would be six. And um, this is to see if the town will vote to transfer a sum of money from the ambulance revenue account for the fiscal 2020 expense, and that's from Donna again. Motion? Mo to motion to post. Second. And that is $40,000. Okay. Please keep in mind, you 
these are all drafts, and some of them are just placeholders, so the wording is not going to probably stay okay. the same, and it'll be fresh. Yeah. Okay, this, the next one is number seven, and this comes from um, our assessor. assessor, Al Jones, and this is to see if the town will vote pursuant to the provisions of Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 59, Section 38H, or any other enabling authority to authorize the Board of Selectmen on behalf of the Town of Brookfield to enter into agreement for payment in lieu of taxes for the pilot agreement for a term of 20 years from commercial operation with the owner, lessee, and operator of the metered ground mounted solar prolific energy generating facility located at 8 <coughs> Mitchell Hill Road. And it's on the property on the assessor's map as map 4B, lot 9, uh, parcel number 45 slash 4B, 0000009. Upon such terms as the selectmen shall deem to be the, in the best interest of the town and to further the authorization that the Board of Selectmen to take such actions as may be necessary to implement such agreements or take other, any other actions. Motion to post. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 The next one from the planning board, there's no draft articles yet yeah. because I know they're going to meet tomorrow, but basically it's two placeholders. For okay. Them. All right. So, that, so that's, is this the email right here? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we'll call the two of those, we'll call those eight and nine. and nine. And when they come in, we'll reopen up the uh, warmer to put them on. Okay. No. Oh, and this goes with it. Yeah, that's from Sharon. That goes with it. Okay. Okay. Mm. Now, this is from the school. I don't know if you've had anything about this. Is from Tantasqua. All right. I talked. Deb Boyd had uh, called me on this to put this on. Um, they're trying to put on some, I guess, new doors and windows at the uh, junior high school over there. And um, a lot of it is going to be, they're trying to get a grant and some reimbursements to do this. Um, and she wants to apply task for surplus reimbursements from the state to pay down the, oh, that, no, that's different, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I went on to that one, okay. But on to this one. I think the money. they want to borrow the money and then we would just have to pay our, our percentage of it or she said they were hoping to get a grant for this so I'm sure you know we can get some more information on this yeah, and we should post it to have yeah it and we will post it did send an email. you so did so the it's email. Two, two articles or one that's uh, one yeah, it's one the one motion, the okay. one, one, one is the motion. motion so this would be number 10 okay. and I'll have um, Karen or myself, well, I'll call Deb and ask her if she could get us out some more information on that. The Planning Committee hasn't really had any information about this. So well, I just heard about this. She, yeah, she, it, yeah, it wasn't that Okay, well, it, it wasn't. So I will get in touch with Deb Boyd. I'll give her a call and I'll ask her to um, get some information, more information about it, and then I'll send it off to you. Does it have to be in the annual or could it be in the fall? Uh, no, I don't know. I think I think she wanted it on the um, on the this portion of it now. I'm going to have to talk. Yeah, but if she's writing a grant, she doesn't know what she needs. So yeah, yeah. Oh. Got to figure out what you need first. Yeah. Okay, I'll call her on that. Okay, and now, okay. That was 10. Okay, this will be number 11, the next one. Um, this is, I think we did this last year yes. also, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer or borrow sum of money as a debt service for the police station. And this comes from um, our share of a refund from Tantasqua that will help the debt get paid down quicker and the tax rate will just be stabilized on it. And we did the same thing then. So motion to post motion. 11. Beth, do you have a question on it? Aye. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And the next one, we penciled and sponsored CIPC because that's what uh, Chief Blanchard wanted, but 
we have Peter here, so yeah. you can ask them if they want to sponsor it. That's in the minutes from their meeting, actually. Oh, this was on the one to establish a police cruiser replacement account. Yes. Can we say have you to sponsor it? Okay, all right, to see if the town will vote to establish a police cruiser replacement account for the purpose of allocating funds each year toward the replacement of the police vehicles to expend such funds on the recommendation of the police chief and with the approval of the Board of Selectmen. So I would like a motion to motion put... Motion to please, 12. Yeah. Second. 12. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, now this one is 13. This is for the, to replace the South Pond Bridge. That's the East Brookfield. Article. Yeah, the East Brookfield. Yeah. 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 Any explanations underneath? Oh, okay. It says here for replacement of South Pond Bridge target federal uh, system. Many bridge. She said targeted federal off-season bridge money will fund the bridge. Okay. So it's not going to cost the town any money. There's no dollars. So they just need a two-thirds vote to um, for us to approve this. Right. Hmm. No. Five, they may have voted it like five years ago when the work was done. No, this is no. this is a new one. Th yeah, no. this is a new one. Don? Not this one. Either. I think this article may be. Is, is this one for a temporary uh, easement for the purpose okay, of let me, let me, construction? Okay, let me let me. Yeah, let's skip. Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, so this that is, the, is a new one. Okay. It was never voted on before. We were waiting for the terminology. Right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
solar arrays on mm -hmm. their properties. With that, they have, have to return monies to the town, uh, basically paying back the tax benefit that mm -hmm. they've received through it, the APR, pro APR program. So what the town does not have is it does not have any funds other than the general budget to mm -hmm. fund, um, I would say, exa examples like the campground work and what yeah. we might be, be, do, be doing mm -hmm. at the campground, what we might be doing uh, to acquire land yes. if land were to mm -hmm. become available. So by putting this in an account to maintain open space, it's really to maintain open yeah. space. If it's, if, it. if it's taken out of mm -hmm. APR, then to replace it with something that's uh, related to open space. That's so anyway, so that's that's the now. Do some of them have? Don't they have to have a money limit on them that you can only keep so much money in the revolving fund? Peter, do you know? No. Not well, we haven't reviewed this one, so we've no. But I, I know with some of them over the years when we've talked about revolving funds that you can just keep so much money in them you can't exceed a certain depends, amount. I think it depends on which Mass General law it's formed under. Is that what it is? Yeah. So so there'd be a couple of different ways to do it. Um, yeah. Worst case scenario, you can do it as a, if you can't do it as a revolving fund, you could at least do it as a segregated stabilization fund. Mm -hmm. And that, there's no limit on the amount of funds, but it would require yeah. a two-thirds vote to get the money out. Yeah. So there's a couple of different types, and we could probably yeah. check with KP about Okay, yeah, the, we'll check with KP on it. Yeah. What's because, the type? Because we, we have knowledge that we're going to get for roughly $45,000 from this earlier article that we talked about. Okay. And so we're looking and, at things mm -hmm. like a playground yes. set yes. for the Lewis Field that's the estimate was eighty thousand dollars. This would be able to fund the playground. Yes. So anyway, okay. motion I, to put this on. Yeah, you have that motion. Second. All in favor. Up, up. Again, this is a capital planning article. Uh, we're looking at the revolving fund for the playground and the solar arrays. Mm -hmm. Is there a That, well, this isn't. This, this is. Isn't a this isn't a funding article. It's not. We, a fund we have knowledge that the town's yeah. about to receive forty-five thousand. The next time we. No. 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 Creating an account to receive the money once once it's determined and could be voted at a following town meeting. Yeah. This is just to open up so that we have this revolving account. What happens if the if you don't? Yep. We're, we're about to receive $45,000 It's going to go into yep. the general fund. Right. I'm saying that's a mistake. And yes. so what my suggestion is, if we had a fund to put the money in and we had agreement to put the mm -hmm. money in a fund, then in the future, if another $45,000 were to appear from another solar field, then that would be where that money would come from. I, I can't speak for the Capital Planning Committee, but I, I think this is a capital Oh yeah, no problem with. Oh yeah, we'll we'll turn over all the ones that. This was you, this was a, Al made the rec recommendation yeah. because he had knowledge of what was going on. Yeah. So I I su submitted the thing. The proposal. I just think it is a money article. That's I mean it, it, in a way people are voting the money to this as opposed to some other capital needs. So, so I think. Uh, and, <laughs> and the question is whether. Oh. Yeah, so okay. People have the choice to do that uh, in isolation of all the other capital requests. Or, you know, this one is being given priority over fire engine, mm -hmm. library, uh, all the other well, capital requests. What we will so, probably do if we do put, like, put these on, we will just mark the ones pass over until a fall town meeting. We'll, we'll just do all in on money. Well, well, let's also take a look at it from, from this perspective. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not certain that in this fiscal year we could actually execute it at this town meeting for monies that have received prior to the town meeting. That we can't do anything so, in the past. We, we can't. So, right. and that was my understanding of this is that this was intended more as a structural option, not necessarily mm -hmm. as a as a given. Mm -hmm. right. So let's first of all get some additional clarity around that okay. before we place it as to oh, okay. what this really means. Right. Um, because it, it sounds like we, we don't necessarily know what 
what chapter and section that we're calling it and, and which type of revolving fund so, it would be. Okay. So let's so so we'll so check with KP. Why don't, why don't we start with that? Why don't we yep. leave it off for now? Um, we can revisit it because we're probably going to have to reopen the warrant anyway for the ones that we yeah. don't currently have adequate structure for. Yeah. Um, and then that'll give some time once we've got the additional detail and structure yeah. to okay. get it to the capital right. Impro uh, capital improvement planning committee mm -hmm. to to work through it alongside of, of the the other proposals that are on, okay. the, on the plan. Right. Mike, did you have? Well, my question was: I just want to make sure I understand that this forty-five thousand dollars is just a one-time. Um, we're, it's being this pilot, it's going to come one time for one project. It's not going to come on an annual basis. You don't know when it's going to come next. What you what you know is that there was a property that was under APR that to put mm -hmm. it back into commercial operation, it's going to be forty five thousand dollars owed to the town. The way th that this is going to work because of where we are, because we don't have this this revolving account. That's dedicated by the by the citizens that they would agree that they'd want to take monies returned mm -hmm. from APR. What what it would do is that we would, in this particular case, the monies that are going to come from that project are going to go into the general fund. What I'm suggesting is the next time it comes around, if it comes around the next time, that we in fact designate those funds that we're preserving open space to continue to preserve open space. So I don't have any problem with any review of yeah. this. It's just a suggestion on how to approach uh, maintaining open space within the town. Just as a point of information, speaking as planning board chair, there is one other solar array that just got there currently. It's, um, it stretches over three towns, uh, Warwick, West Brookfield, and Brookfield, but the bulk of the arrays in Brookfield. And that is in Chapter 61. So there would be another Oh, yeah, that's coming, another one. In the future. Uh, which may fall under this, depending on the structure of the revolving fund. So I just want to make you aware of that. Good. So just to clarify, it's a one-time payment. It's not something you yeah. see on correct. Right. No, no, it's a one-time thing. Because, see, they have to, for, what they do is they pay back all the taxes for the years that that property has been in, like, 61A or something. One of them, 60. Who determined that it should go into the uh, Lewis Field Playground? How oh, that was no. no, no. That was just some oh, suggestions that he I'll had. Re, I'll reread the question, the the statement. Yeah. This would offer matching funds for grants like improvements to Lewis Field, the beach, or the campground. It was just different suggestions what we could use the money for. That's what it was. I mean, that's just true, but I mean, we get a whole slew of things we could use it for, like you said. I mean, who will determine that? I mean, when you take this vote, how would we determine where that forty-five thousand is? It would be determined probably by, by town meeting. It would be yeah. determined. What, what I'm suggesting yeah. is that the town yeah. meeting vote up yeah. front that if you're going to take land out of APR, which typically is farmland, forestry, mm -hmm. whatever, and you're taking it out of that, what I'm suggesting is that those monies go into a fund so that when the town has the opportunity to continue to maintain a level of open space, that there'd be monies available to do open space project related activities possibly buy additional lands, whatever. Mm -hmm. Again, there's no solu no conclusion because there's no money in the pocket. But if there were money in the pocket and you had a project at Lewis Field that would need it to be funded, that would be a way to get some matching monies or something. Well, it, doesn't it does not. And right. again, Peter's... Right. Peter's right. Peter's right. Peter's right. Peter's right. Oh, this is just a recommendation. So that's just the edge of the So we should put it Yes, it's just like it's just like the water. It's just like the water. It, it in essence would be similar in structure. The most likely structure it would take is the same way what we got with the water. So. And if you hear me lobbying, what I'm suggesting is if we have 52% of our town in open space today, the number ought to maintain at 52%. Okay. Or something like that. Okay. Linda, sorry. Okay, okay. Yep. So we'll vote to, oh, we're going to help. We're going to hold. We're going to hold on that. Okay, so we'll move on. The next one will be number 16. Okay. Well, there's no more really. You just have the funding items. Oh, these are the fund. You want to go through any of these are the submissions. Yeah, there's some. We'll go through the funding articles. Okay. 
I know you're going to recommend they all go in the fall, right? Yeah, these will all go on in the fall. Uh, this is to see if the. If, if I may, the, the water department didn't put in a placeholder for transferring any funds. We don't have a meeting until next Wednesday. Okay. Can I put a placeholder in? Sure. It, it would just be a transfer. Sixteen. Yeah, we'll make that number sixteen. Okay, and I'll get you that information next week. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, we'll. Re yeah, because we'll. I'm sure there's going to be more articles that come along that will reopen up the ballot. I mean, we'll reopen the warrant. Okay. Oh, thanks for number sixteen. So. Okay. Oh, yeah. well, okay. I'll just put. <laughs> 16, that would be for the water. Okay. Make a motion that we put a placeholder yes, on for, for the water department. 16, yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Now, the next one here is from the library. This, and we, this is so, do we want to number the, no, we'll wait. We won't number these. We're just going to review them. Okay, let me put all of these together. Okay. Okay. Now we'll move on and we'll review the money articles. Okay, this is um, the one, this is from the library and and the library trustees, this is to see if the town will vote to authorize the Board of Selectmen to acquire by gift purchase or otherwise certain realty property and the improvements thereon known as 18 Common Street, described in a deed recorded with the Wor Worcester Registry of Deeds, book uh, 17143, page 134, upon such terms and conditions as the Board of Selectmen or the Library Board of Trustees shall determine to be appropriate and to further raise an appropriate transfer from available funds or borrow the sum of 239000 and to further and to authorize the Board of Selectmen or the Library Trustees to execute any and all documents to carry out the intent of this article or take any relative action. Now, if I remember, wasn't there something here in the deed that said that this had to be done by July with That's, when they're least it, it would if if we were going to do it this year I do think it would actually have to be done for the close of the fiscal year so it may be that we need to, to send a correspondence to the um, library trustees that we really are, are not going to be able to pursue yeah. um, this type of article for the yeah for we the won't be able to meeting. We're not in a position to do it. Yeah. I, think, I think we can continue with the um, the lease. And, and then the, I think the question then becomes that, that the the lease should just be incorporated into the operating budget, so mm -hmm. that we give the town the time to to do what we need to do. Yeah, Are you taking it? Okay. But I did. I thought there was something in here. No, it just it, it says an option. Yeah. It's all on the first page. Yeah. The bottom, okay, during this term of lease, the tenant shall pay during the term, the extension term, a monthly rent of uh, 1500 per month, uh, payable in advance on the first day of the month, or in the case of the initial term, would be 16500 if paid in a lump sum prior to the commencement date, and, and if the case of extension term, the sum of of 16500 be paid prior to the commencement date of the extended term shall rent be appropriated for partial month of occupancy during the term herein provided. If rent is not paid with the 15th of the month, tenants shall pay interest on any unpaid sum. So, so then, like you said, we'll just have to put this in the budget. I think what we I think that would be, that would probably be the best option, but we need to talk to the library, library. trustees regarding that. Yeah, so um, we'll have to do, talk to them on this. Do you so. want me to reach out to them about what some of the options might be with regards to that? Yeah, okay. yeah, you can. Okay, I'll okay. take that as an action. Yeah. Okay, thank that. you. Yeah, that would be good. Brenda's away. Anyway. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay, just let me know. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We need we need to take a look at the options because okay. we, we're not going to be in a position to no. go out for any type to of do that. To no. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, this is uh, one that is put on by the highway. It's a, normally about the same amount every year. It's to uh, raise and appropriate the sum of 35000 to fund the road reconstruction and reconstruction account. So we'll put that on. Well, what, I, Mike? I think that, I mean, that's another No, no, one. I didn't mean this. Uh, we'll put this on for the fall. For the fall. Yeah. Mike? Okay. Well, I just wondered how, how you, I think you've all agreed this evening that no money articles are going to be no. um, submitted for the annual town meeting. So does it make sense to just make the motion to defer all those to the town meeting and go over each individual one for the sake of time? Peter? Uh, uh, the Capital Plan Committee recommended all non-urgent uh, money articles be deferred. I think last year we funded the highway uh, uh, construction and reconstruction account because it, it is urgent. It, right. The season right. for doing the work. Right now is, we don't know if we could do it or not. But, and we funded it out of stabilization. So uh, with the expectation stabilization would be a reimbursement yeah. the fall. So uh, I would just yeah, that makes say sense. you might want to not do a blanket motion and instead look at them individually and decide whether they're urgent or not. No. Uh, or, you know, in term, especially in terms of the highway. But why don't, why don't we actually vote to place that on there just as a sum of money and then depending on if there is something critical that needs to be addressed or what we get for balances in that account if we have a balance. That, so we uh, want to put this um, decision. So we want to put this on then. I think, I, we, I think we can and we can just pass it over. Pass it over. If we have to. If we have to. Yeah, but it's an article every year yeah, that they do. Number 17 then, This right? would be 17 then. All right, 17. So do we want to go through all of them just so that we have an, yes. we'll yeah. have an idea? Yeah. I don't think we have to necessarily read them all in detail. No, okay. All right, I won't. I'll just go do them quick. Okay. So uh, I'll make a motion to please that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. And this one is, um, is 7500 uh, for the center line painting of town roads. That, we normally that can wait because usually that we don't can do wait. it until spring. Yeah. Actually, so we're about to spend the money we yeah. voted last year. Okay. All right, and then the next one is um, 8000 for the state mandated emergency action plan for Sawmill Pond Dam. And we have to do that. That's yeah. dated. That's going to be done. Okay, so mm -hmm. I make a motion to put that as 18. Oh, you want to put this on? Yes, we. it's mandated. Is it Joyce. That's 18. 18. Motion to place 18, Sawmill Pond. Seven. On the favor, aye. aye. Okay. All right, and this is another, this is from um, the fire department. This is, uh, they have a request for 330000 to replace the used 1987 open cab pumper. Hold. Oh. Okay. need to hold that one. Yeah, that's another hold. All right, and this is another one also from the fire. I think we can hold this till the fall, too. This is um, 22000 to purchase protective clothing and air bottles. Let's place this one with the generic verbiage, and then if there's like a couple that absolutely have to get done, let's get them to get an inventory to see if there's anything that absolutely needs to get replaced. Fire department still in the running for this to be funded uh, by FEMA, by a FEMA grant, so we, we don't know the result yet. So right. we ought to place it. So we'll place it. We'll place it. Okay, place motion. Right. The truckers, that's what we No. Both no. Okay. But I don't think we want to put the truck on now. Until no, 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 we're not well, putting the truck still on. Still in the running for uh, FEMA funding, so we, we don't. So we, what are you right. doing? I, I'd still place the, the clothing one though, because what? they might have a. They're talking a about putting that we need to spend. Um, the twenty-two thousand on. Air bottles. You want to place that one? Place nineteen. Oh. That's not. Uh, this will be not. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would place that one, and and it's. That's why the dollars is not in the verbiage on that one because okay. we might only need to do like two thousand if there's something you need okay. before the. Before All right, comes back. a motion to put this on. Yes, you have that motion. Nineteen place. To place on. Okay. Any more discussion on that? Protective. 
Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And now, okay, and this is one, um, now who's two, oh, this is from the, the chief, well, chief right. of police. This can go on till next time. It's 6,000 okay. for a new commercial grade copy of printer and fax machine. Yeah, we'll yes, move. Hold that one. Yeah, hold that till the fall. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, this is another one. Um, he, this is from Chief Blanchett also. This is to borrow the sum of $94,658.90 for two Chevy Tahoe, Tahoe Cruises or $87,219 for two Ford Explorer Cruises. And, uh, this, this definitely has to be held over too till the fall. Has he discussed this with you, Peter? Yes, uh, the figure he gave us was substantially lower. Yeah, 60,000. He just brought those in today. Yeah. Right now, so, so those are the figures he has. Okay. Yeah, substantially lower. Because right. I remember so, the, the two was supposed to be closer to seven. So these are the ones we're, we're going to hold? Were there some for a special? Or were, were there any specials? Could any of those want a special? I don't know. What's that? I asked her if there was any for any for the special town meeting come in, because that was the deadline for well, the... Well, no, because most of the special usually comes from the accounting office. So we need, no we need, special we need, we need special. to do with snow and ice yeah. um, deficit for the special. Yeah, so, so we'll have so, to get those on. Yeah, that, that one's a given. Okay. Um, and you anything else we'll, should we wait and see what Marilyn yeah. says okay. yeah. yeah so so the rest of that would come as far as, as, as once we okay. get through some of the account yeah we'll have to reopen okay all right now we have a uh, minute Peter, Peter, Peter Nietzsche I, it's I'm a sorry question, uh, about some things that were presented in the capital planning committee but which have not come in as articles and I just wanted to check so um, we don't uh, uh, no, no article on computers and, uh, no. and uh, the no. uh, replacement of the email system. No. No, we were going to put that in the line item. No, no, that's going to be oh. in the fall. Well, oh, that'll be in the fall. Yeah, it'll be in the yeah fall. we're going to hold that over until the fall. And the, as far as the email goes, I mean, it's it's acceptable now until the fall i had it me and cindy are the ones that had the most problem with our email mm -hmm. and i asked her if she could hang on to the fall she said yes and i agreed to do the same thing mm -hmm. only because i basically don't know if there's any yeah. money available so. yeah but again i would it sounds to me uh, basically uh, the discussion we heard was that that was pretty urgent and it was interfering with the running uh, the communication system needed to be funded to honor uh, stabilization, I think our committee would be in favor of it. Uh, well, simply because well, we spoke to um, Larry, who's the, who does them for us, and Larry thought that we could hold off until the fall. Also. Well, and also, we, we, what we really need to do is, is get some additional information and proposals because to, to the, to yeah. the advice. Well, yeah. well, and that was only a working draft, yeah. okay? Um, and and we, we need to get some, some clarity um, he, he's still willing to go through and at least finish up what we would need in order to do a statement of work for a, a vendor to come in and, and provide us a formal quote. Um, we don't but, need to get into it. Yeah, you but, guys, but, it's your job yeah, to decide what's right. your yeah, so, yeah. so at, 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 at this point, the folks that were having the most issues said that they can get yeah, by. They can my get my by. biggest concern is that we, we pretty much would have to we would have to notify our current vendor 90 days in advance of the end of the contract, which is March of 2020, mm -hmm. okay? Which means if we take it to a fall town meeting, uh, so long as we've done enough pre-work, um, we can still be on schedule to start the transition. We really probably would need to start the transition sometime towards the fall. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that would be the one concern, is that if we do mm -hmm. leave it entirely yeah. to to the fall meeting if we're talking that we're starting in november that is not enough time mm -hmm. to kick off that yeah. project quite frankly um, well linda and i did say yeah. when, we, when we were at the yes. advisory board I, we did mm -hmm. make a note that we were going to look into all the options one of them was uh consulting with your with the person that you know too because um 
again in preparation for the changeover right. because, because that, we know it needs to be yeah, done. Because that, yeah, we know it has to be done. That, that changeover is going to take three months, and I'm going to tell you right now, you don't want to start your changeover at the same time that you notify your service provider yeah. that you're going to be doing it because in the last time it took us nine months to implement the new email system. So if we're not ready to start soon, we're going to potentially have some, some risk there. Okay. We just wanted to get through yep. the time yep. meeting. Yep. Just get through. No, I, I get it. But Believe I, me, no one needs it more than I do, yeah. and I want it, but I'm willing to muddle along. So and, and Cindy, too. Right. And yeah. she agreed, because she was here last Thursday also when we saw them. Yep. Peter? And uh, Clarence, your open space article, you're not in here in this pile. That's a fall. We expect to come in in the fall. The, the COVID campground uh, folded under open space. Yeah, we know it's not nothing. Or it would, actually, just to update everybody on that topic, Kathy mm -hmm. believes she's found some additional money to tear down the remaining three buildings. So if Kathy's going to find money, we're going to use it. So right now, that's hold. I think everything else that was presented yeah. to the Capital Planning Committee for fiscal year 2020, I think people will be coming in in the fall. Um, they just assumed yeah. they wouldn't be dealt with it. In, yeah. in Correct. Fall. Mike, did you have a question? Oh, I just wanted to say that we, we got the grant. Oh, we did. Wonderful. Congratulations. congratulations and congratulations to Kathy. She's doing she good. She's doing good for us. For which? The teardown. The teardown. For the campground. 34 South Maple Street. Oh, 34. Oh. oh, no. There's another. Oh, I'm sorry. This is campground. Oh, she's, that's the campground. She's out after similar money oh, for but, campground. Oh, but we did get it. But we did get it. But we got money, though, you said, for 34? Yes, yes. oh, just for that one? Uh, yeah, that was the one that we, we put out. Yeah. We've already got the Thousand dollars, and this will give us uh, at least thirty-five hundred to four thousand dollars more. Oh, good. Yeah. That's so, good. All good. All good. All good I things. Have a yes. The number one, you said it was a non-money article, and by by which what? The uh, town getting a town administrator. Did you have that in, in the top of the list here? Yeah, oh, that's that's, that's just petition. a vote to see if we want. That's by petition. We have to put that on, okay. and so it's just. No, it won't be a money, and it has to be voted on to see whether or not the people want it or not. Okay. That's what that is. Okay. So there's no money. In no, there's no money involved with that. Okay. Any more questions before we move on? Don, did you have anything? No. Okay. Anybody else? All right. Okay. We'll move on. We have a municipal uh, transfer from the uh, police department from Chief Blanchard in the amount of two thousand five hundred and fifty-nine dollars. And 22 cents uh, to go into the police expense account. This was an unseen expenditure, and he had to have um, some work done on the cruiser here. And he, the bill is here if you want to see it. Motion to pay the bill. Motion to pay it. I mean, a motion will send it on to the advisor. Where advisory. are you transferring it from? Is it from the reserve? Oh, account probably from, from, yeah, she didn't, it's probably it's municipal relief, so that comes from the reserve. Because it's on the, the, that the advisory board have to sign it. Okay. All right. Mm. Are they meeting again this week? They're generally um, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. So we'll have to get Maybe that. Week. Yeah, we'll have to get that to them. Okay. The heat. Heat, yeah. Oh my God! It's loud. Have you have you hired a uh, town highway wash yet? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Hmm. Okay. Our next one is resignations. Okay. We. This comes from our town treasurer. She had gone. She was out on a 90-day leave of absence, and she has decided that she's not coming back to Brookfield. And, you know, we take this with the, don't like to take it, because she was doing a good job for us. And, yeah, uh, she's got family stuff. And she's got she's some got. family problems and things, and so she's decided not to come back to work for us. And so we take this with regret. Yep. Yeah, and we'll have Karen send a letter out to Monica on this. Okay. And then we have another one here 
from the town accountant. She was out on um, also a medical leave, and she's choosing also, she's going to resign from her position also. And this is taken with regret also, and so we'll send her out. And then we have another one here um, from Reserve Officer Richard Cavallari. Uh, he's, re he's resigning due to changes in his personal life that leave him with less time to devote to his job. And he said he would like to thank him for his time with the Brookfield Police Department and wish him well in the future endeavors. That's from Chief Blanchard, and we wish him well also. And send him a letter too. Okay. Now we'll. Will those be announced? Those resignations be announced so that all the town employees. Yeah, we need to. Well, they know. The oh yes, we've already. Um, we're, we've sent around. Um, well, no, we, we haven't. Have we just. <gasps> oh, we didn't. Oh, with Carrie's we haven't, and with Monica too. Yeah, we well, haven't. Because you just you haven't. Yeah. You just accepted. Yeah. It, so then we have to told them told them though that I mean we've had interim pe people in place. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we so will. We'll our capital planning committee never knew that anybody was on leave, and we still don't know the people who are advising. You know, we, so we, it would be just real helpful if you sent when, out and said that we had her, the one that's helping out to, in the accountant's office to just do warrants for us. Her name is um, Marilyn, Marilyn Matthews, Matthews. Right. and she's only got to put in about ten to twelve hours a week. She's just going to do that. And then we have um, Lonnie Crustacea. Lonnie is doing our, we appointed her quite a while back. She's going to, she's the interim treasurer. And we did that until after town meeting. And then we're going to put the ad out for that. Just, just as a procedure, it, it would be You helpful. have I did, Well, I she sent did. it up to, to the department. Yeah, no, Karen had I already done, it did that. I the CIPC, but I'll add you to my list. Okay. And she will, tom tomorrow she'll drop a note to all everybody and let them know that we had the two registrate our uh, I mean resignations tonight okay and you're you're looking for additional speaking of that project that you do all the time is financial support yeah financial out, support I'm so, looking in yeah so you're out after additional resources yes I'm out for additional resources I've been talking with the um, let's see. What was it? I've been talking to the uh, Pioneer Valley Planning Commission Regional Accounting Program, and they have contracted. Um, it's a professional firm that will come out and take over and help out with all of our books and get everything all in order. So I have a meeting with them next week. They're coming down next week, so that's going on. So I, I have, because like I'm the, I help out with the financial team, so I've been on top of this all along. And the reason, the one, the lady that we have that's helping us now in the accounting over there with the warrants. Um, she's a retired uh, accountant from uh, Bellingham, and she was the financial director, but she lives in the town of Webster. And I got, we were, I got her name from um, the accounting association. So I've been in touch with them too, to find people for us, because you know, for these positions, it's, they're far and few in between to find people to do these jobs anymore. Well, and if the example of yeah. the Pioneer Valley yeah. is that they've actually got five towns yeah, that are actually towns. Wor working together yeah. to do similar kinds of things just because yes. they can't find the resources. Yeah, and um, what they're going to, I know what they're doing is they're planning on having like these professional firms come in and stay as their accountants. And that's something that we, we're going to discuss also. Have to. Have, we have to because you can't. You can't you, find the people. Yeah, the, you can't find the people. I was trying, I been trying I've been in touch with the Department of Revenue and everybody so that's the solution we're going to see if we can go with them and see what happens and we'll just keep everybody informed on you know how the finances are here in the town I cancel the meeting the, um, what did you want to cancel the other half of the annual town meeting oh yeah 621 yeah 621 we should probably wait? oh let's, we'll get through all that yeah we don't have okay. to do anything it's just posted yeah Let's let's wait for now. But okay. let's let's get our hands wrapped around. Let's see how long the even the non money articles are some of them are long enough okay. that we don't know okay. how long that would run. Okay. All right. Well, now we have um, here correspondence. That's 
all my stuff there that I was keeping for now. All right. Mm. I don't have uh, nothing under. Uh, you have anything under other? No, I, I spoke earlier. Well, okay. we, I, as you're looking to your next one, we did have a great session on, under municipal vulnerabilities. I thought Don can shake his head in the right direction because he participated. But uh, um, drains, drainage, water are issues. And the more we can focus on it and, and get our arms around it, the better. And I just thought it was a good program and a good, good six or eight hours mm -hmm. of, of effort. Mike? So the way, hopefully we can have a new highway superintendent so we understand our priorities. And one of the things that come out of the vulnerability studies are drainage. We had a project identified for Rice Corner Gay Road, which is very close to that particular issue up at, at, at 118. Uh, Rice Corner or 119 at Rice Corner. Um, so I would think that if we complete the vulnerability stuff, there will be grant monies available where we might be able to, to uh, take care of the Rice Corner Gay Road issue and we add in that to solve it. But no decisions have been made. Get a, let's get a highway superintendent here so that we can talk priorities mm -hmm. and uh, make sure that we want to continue with that particular project. Just one last question is, will, will you all be on board with, with asking our new highway uh, superintendent to help with the demolition of the... Uh, oh, oh, absolutely. Well, of course we will be, yes. Yeah, We're all on board, yeah. Worked right. in the past. It's a, it was a good best practice. Let's keep going. Peter, did you have something? Are you going on an other now? Well, you have something for other? Well, I just wanted to say that um, uh, you are aware, I hope, that uh, one of Brookfield's um, citizens was awarded the Lucy Stone. Oh, you know, I did that. I did that earlier. You were I late. Did, yeah, you were late. I did that at the beginning of the meeting. Perfect. Yeah, <laughs> that was all done. And well okay. deserved. Yes, well deserved. Okay, we have correspondence from CSX Right of Way Management. On behalf of the CSX Transportation Incorporated, Wood Environment and Infrastructure Solutions Incorporated is providing you with information on CSX's 2019 yearly operational plan. The Right of Way Management, in accordance with 33. 333 CMR 1107, the Massachusetts Right-of-Way Management Regulations describe how CSX will control vegetation on the railroad, on the railroad management uh, row in Massachusetts. Upon your request, we will send you an electronic copy or hard copy via U.S. mail of the um, document for, for 2019 and the maps of the CSX X right of way in your municipality. And this is from Stephen Herzog. He is the wood environmental and infrastructure person. So that's it. Okay. And now we have, are we going to hold, we have another meeting next week. Are we going to hold that or are we want to skip over to the next Tuesday? I would I say you should have, we, we should, we, we need should, it. we need it because if we're successful. Oh, okay. We'll meet then. Yeah. All right. Okay. I was just, Double checking because yeah. we've met the last three Thursdays, Tuesdays yeah. in a row. Well, there's lots of work to do. Yeah, so. there is. So. Okay, we will. So uh, we will adjourn at 7.56. Six. Six. I'd like a motion. You have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.